to the course on design and analysis of algorithm. I am Dr. Shelley along with my colleague Dr. Prasenjit Das from Chitkara University, India, RTQ through this course on designing and analysis of algorithms. Now I will take you through the tour in this course we will learn about what is an algorithm, why we need an algorithm, its efficiency and the different strategies which are used for designing the algorithms and along with the summary. To solve any problem in computer science we need to write step by step procedure which is called an algorithm. So why we need this course? It's important to learn about that. We will learn about the major design strategies, calculating the efficiency of algorithms and tools to calculate the efficiency also. Now a given problem can be solved with many algorithms, but we should design the algorithm in such a way that it takes the least possible time and any program taking less time to execute will be sell better. Definitely it would happen. Now the course layout would be, we will concentrate upon different asymptotic notations, we will take you through the divide and conquer strategies, we will take you through the greedy method, dynamic method, backtracking and branch and bound. Next is the asymptotic notations. Asymptotic notations are the big O notations, omega notations and the theta notations in which the big O notations use the worst case complexity, omega notations tells us about the best case and theta about the average case of complexity. We will also calculate the different complexity for different algorithms under this course. Next is the divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is the strategy in which we divide the problem into sub problems such that we solve each of the sub problems and merge the solutions to compile the final solution of the problem. We will take upon general method, then we talk about the some examples like binary search, merge sort and quick sort. These are some of the strategies which can be solved by using the divide and conquer strategy. Next is the greedy method. In the greedy method, we try to get the optimal solution as hit and trials trying to hold on to the maximum inputs in one go. There are some of the problems which can be solved using the greedy method like DAPSEC problem, uh, job sequencing problem, minimum cost spanning tree and the tree vertex splitting problem. Dynamic problem. Dynamic programming unlike the greedy problem finds the optimal solution always where in case of greedy we find all the feasible solutions and then choose the optimal while in the dynamic program we are sure about get the optimal solution if we are getting the solution. Some of the examples which we are covering in dynamic programming are all pair shortest path, 0 1 knapsack problem, multigraph and the traveling salesman problem. Backtracking. Backtracking method allows us to go back to the previous position and find a new path so that we can get the optimal solution. There are some of the problems which can be solved using the backtracking like sum of subset problem, uh, and Queen's problem, graph coupling problem and the Hamiltonian cycle problem. Last one, branch and bound. Branch and bound is a systematic method for solving optimization problems. Branch and bound is a rather general optimization technique that applies where the greedy method and the dynamic programming fails. There are some of the problems which we can solve using branch and bound. Like we can solve the least cost search method, we can solve the 15 puzzle problems, 0 1 knapsack as well as the traveling salesman problem using the branch and bound. Thank you for your kind attention. We will go through the course whenever this course starts offering. Thank you.